हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ विल डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो अबाउट द ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ मोशन यू नो वेरी वेल इफ वी टेक अ टेबल टू कैलकुलेट समथिंग इट विल बी इजी जस्ट इजी इफ यू इफ समवन आस्क हाउ मच डिस्टेंस कवर्ड जस्ट दिस टेबल हाउ मच डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाय योर बॉडी इन वन आवर यू विल से सिंपली बाय द from with the help of this uh, table that is the 100 km if somebody asks what is the distance covered in 2 hours you will say 200 but if somebody ask what is the distance covered in 1.3 hours you can't say because there is no answer from this table if somebody ask what is the distance covered in 3 hours you can't say clearly because it is not given in the table so from the table it is not easy the calculation but with the help of the graph it becomes very very easy okay so in this video we'll discuss about the graphical representation of motion so in your syllabus we have to discuss two types of the graphs first is the distance time graph and second we'll discuss about the velocity time graph so first of all we'll discuss the distance distance टाइम ग्राफ्स ओके डिस्टेंस टाइम ग्राफ्स मीन्स जस्ट सी ट्राई टू राइट द डेफिनेशन योर सेल्फ इफ टाइम इज टेकिन ऑन द एक्स एक्सिस एंड द डिस्टेंस इज टेकिन ऑन द वाई एक्सिस ऑन द वाई एक्सिस देन द ग्राफ सो ऑप्टेन्ड इज कॉल्ड द डिस्टेंस टाइम ग्राफ आई थिंक इट इज क्लियर you may write yourself if the time is taken on x axis and the distance on y axis then the graph so obtained is called the distance time graph okay i am taking the different type of the graph distance time graph suppose this is a type of the graph okay you know how the graph is plotted okay suppose this is a graph so which type of motion it represents it represents the uniform uniform speed yeah because because body covers equal distance in equal interval of time that's why it is the it is the straight line okay equal distance like this okay here equal distance in equal, equal distance in equal interval time okay again you will find the same thing if you plot it on the graph paper you will find this is always equal to this that is it is always equal and this is always equal intervals will be equal so it represents the uniform speed now from the vt from the dt graph you can find the speed suppose you have to find the speed of the uh, body which is moving uniformly so we can take any two any two points say it is the s1 distance and suppose here the distance is s2 covered by the body and initially its time was t1 and the after when it covered s2 distance suppose its time becomes t2 so velocity or the speed you can find the speed that is the it is the slope it is the slope of graph it is the slope of graph and it is equal to the change in y axis upon change in x axis that is the s2 minus s1 upon t2 minus t1 so using this formula using this graph you can find the speed of the object also now see the another type of the graph of the dt graph if the if this is the graph suppose it is the curve it is the curve that is there is no equal change in equal interval of time both are not changing uniformly so that's why it represents the non uniform non uniform motion okay it was the uniform motion okay another type of graph you can uh, it is the non uniform suppose another type here suppose this is the d and this is the t so time is changing time is changing but the body is not covering the more distance it means body or object object is at rest it represents okay so these type of graphs we have to discuss and we should know distance time graphs 
okay very useful in especially numericals questions etc now after this we'll discuss the second type of graph that is the velocity time graph okay so now velocity velocity time graph okay now see again you can write its definition yourself if time is taken on x axis and the velocity on y axis okay so then graph then graph so obtained is called the velocity time graph vt graph okay vt graph now see its applications what are the uses advantages okay i'm taking the example of the uniform this graph shows the uniform motion okay it is the uniform motion why it is the uniform motion because the speed of velocity is remains constant equal distance in equal travel of time so speed is constant so that's why this graph shows the uniform motion of the graph now what is the use of this graph we can find the area and then we can find the distance so using this graph we can find the distance also see here how can we find suppose we are taking a small part of this graph say a b c d if you find the area of this part then it will represents the distance so here distance distance is equal to area is equal to area of a b c d or s is equal to a c into c d so this concept will be used in numericals or the exercise questions now see the another type of graphs through which we can find the distance say this is the second type of graph okay so what it represents here it is the velocity and it is the time so velocity change in the velocity equal interval change in in equal interval of time that is the well change is constant so that's why it represents the uniform acceleration okay we had just discussed uniform acceleration that is the rate of change of velocity is constant this is the uniform acceleration now through this graph how can we find the distance take a, again to again an area so convert because okay two parts you can divide the area two parts say a b c d e okay if we have to find the area in this portion okay that is the from t1 to t2 okay t1 to t2 so how will you find you have to find the area of both part this part and the this part both part so area that is the displacement is equal to area area of a b c d e okay or you can say area of rectangle rectangle a b c d this area okay plus plus area area of triangle triangle a d e this triangle and then add both you'll find the total total area and then the distance between these two interval of time that is the from t1 to t2 how much distance covered by the body you can find it okay so area of area of rectangle this into this that is the ab into bc okay this is the area of rectangle plus area of triangle it is the half into ad into ed you can write so it is ad into de this is the displacement so you we can find the displacement of the body some different types of the graph you will uh, consider here in the vt graph say suppose this is a another type of graph this is the another type of graph like this okay suppose this is the graph it is the vt vt graph again vt so these are the non uniformly accelerated motion because here it is the motion 
rate of change of velocity is not constant it is decreasing it is a different way it is again in different way so here you can say the object the object in non uniformly uniformly accelerated accelerated motion okay so this type of graph will represent the non uniform acceleration now dear students we can discuss some block questions block questions okay given just after this see it's very easy all questions four questions are given now see the first question read in your book what is the nature of the distance time graph in, you know uniform and non uniform motion of the body so it represents the uniform dt graph and it is the non uniform okay so it is the straight line graph straight line graph and this is the curved curved graph okay so it is the uniform motion and it is the non uniform okay this is the answer of first question and the second question what can you say about the motion an object whose distance time graph is straight line okay so it is asked in the question so what it represents already we had discussed it represents that body is at rest already we had discussed and the question number 3 what can you say about the motion of speed time graph okay it is the graph you will make vt graph okay what it represents it represents the body is moving with constant speed you can see here na? so you can say object is moving moving uniformly uniformly clear yes friends now one more question what is the quantity which is measured in the area occupied we had just said that by finding the area in the graph it will represent the distance so it gives the area gives the distance distance covered by object ठीक है इट्स ऑल नाउ स्टूडेंट्स थैंक यू वेरी मच इन नेक्स्ट टॉपिक्स विल डिस्कस द इक्वेशंस डिफरेंट थ्री इक्वेशंस ऑफ मोशंस एंड विल प्रूव इट ग्राफिकली आल्सो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल आल्सो बी वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्लीज वेट फॉर दैट वीडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच